Manitoba Liquor Mart presents Great Tastes of Manitoba. Great Tastes is brought to you by greattastesmb.ca. Hello, welcome, great to have you. This is Great Tastes of Manitoba. My name is Ace Burpee, very pumped to introduce my good friend, Heather Dybert, Manitoba Mushroom Growers Association. Good to have you. And my good buddy, Ben Rush, product expert for Manitoba Liquor Marts here at the Grant Park Liquor Mart Education Center. We are making stuffed mushrooms and I'm pumped. So uh, first off, just sort of run down the three we're gonna do and then we'll see if Ben has uh, any questions. Okay, uh, today we are going to do a classic stuffed uh, mushroom, ne mushrooms Neptune, okay. as well as a spinach and artichoke stuffed Sweet. mushroom. And the third recipe we'll do is a no-bake hummus stuffed mushroom. I approve of all of this. So Ben, Sounds you're gonna awesome. have to head out into the, to, uh, into the liquor mart and pair some drinks with these. So any questions before you go? Yes, I have a couple of questions. Uh, I was wondering mainly about the artichokes, if we're dealing with fresh artichokes or if we're dealing with uh, marinated artichokes for uh, one of them. Okay, yes, they are marinated. They are in a can. They came from a Perfect. can. Perfect, yes. Okay, and the hummus, I was wondering too, is, is there lots of garlic or just? Uh, yeah, actually you could add more garlic, but Ooh. there is definitely garlic in it, um, as well as the second one has a bit of red pepper flakes, which gives it a bit well, of yeah, heat. Well, yeah, there's a bit of heat in the yes. second yes. one. That's yeah. right. Yeah. I can totally work with that. Though. Okay. No worries. Good Great. luck, buddy. Thank we'll you. See you in a bit. Okay. Classic. These are classic mushroom Neptunes to start. Yes. Okay. Let's yes. Go. So this is. Well, uh, actually, we have to do a bunch of things before we even get we to do. that part, though. Yeah. The first thing we want to talk about is choices. Uh, when you are picking a mushroom to stuff, you have lots of choices that are available to you. Um, there's a jumbo or a stuffer mushroom is what we call it and it's actually a fairly large mushroom um, but again it would give you um, you know sort of four or five bites to, okay. to the mushroom. The second one is a medium mushroom and you can just see the difference between the two uh, the medium one versus the jumbo. This is your classic stuffed mushroom one that you yep. would use. Um, then there's the small or the button Buttons. mushroom. Yep and the cremini. Cremini. Hey, yeah. you want to know something interesting? Okay. Well, no, you know, and you told me earlier. Yes. But see, see that, this one, right? The cremini. Yes. This becomes what? This becomes the portabella. And how many days do, does it take for this to turn into a great big portabella? Three days. Yeah, yes. That's, yeah. That to me is interesting. Three more days of growing. Yeah. Okay, so once you've chosen the mushroom that you would like to use for your stuffed mushroom appetizer, then what we do is we need to prepare the mushroom to get it ready. Okay. So if you have bought it in a grower wrap package, such as this one, uh, no human hands have touched this. How come that has yeah. a ribbon? Okay. This one is uh, for October, the month of October. We will sell them in the pink tills yeah. and proceeds from the sales of these mushrooms go to breast cancer research. Oh, nice, good mm -hmm. for you. So that's the slogan. So in October, look for those. If they're in the grower wrap, you don't really need to wash them. Just uh, brush off any of the growing medium yep. that is on them. Uh, if you buy them in bulk, we do recommend that you wash them. And uh, basically what you can do is, again, rinse them under cold running water, give them a little brush to get off any of the growing medium and uh, blot them dry. Okay. Okay. So then you've got your mushroom and now the next thing you need to do is get it ready for stuffing. How do we get these out? Yeah. So these are the stems. So all you do is you're just going to wiggle it, sort of twist and pull. And that is very easy wiggle, to get it out. Wiggle, wiggle. Twist, twist and pull. Wiggle, wiggle, <laughs> twist. So you Good. can try one. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle twist. twist. Oh, I there left lots in there. That's okay. Yours is way better. Yeah, and what we can do now, you can do another one. Yeah. And I'll just show people, uh, this is another tool you can use. It's a melon baller. And it's a really nice tool to use for this, is if you find that you don't have a lot of um, the stem is left in there, yeah. just take the melon baller, have a little dish handy, and just take the melon and just uh, remove. Any, the, the stuff. Yep, just a little bit. Make a little more room okay. for your stuffing in the mushroom and then back down onto the cookie sheet okay. and away you go. All right. So now we have our mushrooms that are ready to go. We're going to move down here. We're going to make the filling. This is the classic Neptune filling. Yes. Okay. So in the bowl we have a package of 250 gram light cream cheese. Yep. 
um, that we've already mixed up. Into the bowl, I might just get you to add, uh, there's a spoon here, is um, uh, a can of shrimp okay. that's been drained. All of it? All of it. Yeah, and you can use the broken shrimp for this, which is uh, slightly uh, less expensive to buy yep. because we are going to be mixing it up in this recipe, so you don't need the, the whole. Uh, crab. Crab. Yeah, another can of crab that we've drained. Once and that when goes I was in. in El Salvador of all places, yes. to put my shoe on, yes. there's a crab in it. Oh, yeah. really? Did it bite you? No. <laughs> oh, okay. We got along quite well. Good. Uh, some green onions. Sure. Just for a little zip and color. Yep. Uh, some Parmesan cheese. Sweet. Yeah. Add that in. Okay. And then we also have a teaspoon of Worcester sauce. Okay. I go with Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Worcester. Worcestershire. I use yep. every word or every letter I pronounce. I don't know if it's right. No one actually knows. No. And we have a tablespoon of lemon juice okay. because the lemon juice goes really nice with the uh, crab and the shrimp. Sweet. Okay. And about a quarter teaspoon of garlic. We'll just mix oh, this that is in. Good. And a few splashes of You're kidding me. Tabasco. Okay. And that's it. So that's the filling. Now we're just going to take our electric mixer mm -hmm. and just mix that up. Okay. Oh yeah. Doesn't take very long. You just want to mix it till it's nicely combined together. Okay. Okay. And let's stuff one. Yeah. That's gonna do that. And then we'll move back over here. That's the filling. So okay. that's, you can see how quick and easy it is. We we'll use the um, melon baller yeah, again? Yeah, I'm gonna give you the melon baller. Okay. You can use the melon baller. And another way to do it is two spoons. So you just take a small bit of the stuffing. If, if you need a spoon, you can use a spoon Comes to up? get it out. Yep. And oh, then, yeah. And there you go. And, and then we're gonna your, bake these? We are, we're gonna bake them at 325 for eight to 10 minutes until they're puffed and golden. Classic mushroom. Neptune, we're gonna come back and stuff more mushrooms with spinach, spinach, right? Yes. And artichoke. Be here.